Hello everyone! Hello! Nice to see you again after a Tuesday off, which is always nice, but it's nice to be back as well. Anyway, I'm Jack. I'm a panda, obviously. And welcome to the casino once again, as we do almost every, say, five times a week. So thanks for coming. Uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, tonight we were going to take a spooky train ride with a bunch of dead people. <laughs> on a, uh, which I know now is kind of uh, weird given that the whole point is that we're meant to be solving mysteries, murder mysteries, but shut up, Alec. How are you doing? Also, hey, you're smooth. So yeah, um, today is uh, If on a Winter's Night for Travelers. And I thought the name sounded interesting in the same way that the Stanley parable sounded interesting. So uh, I figured I'd look into it. Plus, it's free on Steam. So I think it's... Uh, don't spend all your rubles. You might need those later. Anyway, so yeah, I thought it would be interesting to play a murder mystery game. I thought it'd be fun. And I was quite looking forward to it. So it's been on the burner since it came out, which was, I think, a few weeks ago now, maybe a month. I don't really want to fight you. Just because I've got other things that I could be fighting. Oop. And also, I didn't turn that off, so at least I think I didn't. Anyway, I thought um, subscriber mode was still turned on, but I guess not. I'm sure I will. Lame rack. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, horse once it loads up. There. There we go. Sure, the sound is up too. So yes, this is a point-and-click adventure game, and uh, they're one of my favourite things. No, you. Although uh, I might need tips here and there if I uh, run out of ideas, which we all know will probably happen sooner or later. But uh, oh, damn it! It's not responding to music. Oh well. There we go. I would like it already. And yes, so yes. Uh, by the way, smooth. I was, I wasn't thinking uh, that so much. Uh, can't remember what the song's called. Run away, train, never going back. I was thinking more. Uh, We're going off the rails on a crazy train. But you know, whatever helps uh, people cope, I guess. Anyway. Here we go. My eyes are funny today, too. It's squiggling all over the place. Right, so here we go. Train ride. I've rode a train like this before. With my dad. <laughs> It does have... Oh, oh, whoops. Young man, is everything all right, young man? You seem agitated. Are you not enjoying yourself? Oh, yes, yes, certainly. It is... It is a lovely party indeed. It is, isn't it? Such delightful costumes and the music. Exquisite. I've just realised she's a skeleton. I think. Oh, but where are my manners? Either that or very, very pale. And missing a nose. I'm Carlo. Pleased to meet you. Um, and he looks like a dog. Sweetie, what is wrong? I can tell there is definitely something on your mind. Are you looking for somebody? And uh, no, Alec. I don't even know what that song is. Oh no, it's just that um, I know it must be. It must sound peculiar, but I can't seem to be able to re recall how I got here. What do you mean? Surely you must remember something. I don't know. Well, I was at this hotel in Rome. That I do remember. Rome? What a beautiful city. Were you on vacation? In a way, I was there to meet with my paramour. I was waiting for him to arrive. Does anyone say paramour? 
Really? The silent room. Sorry, I, I thought I was supposed to be silent there too, so... Ah, beautiful Rome. So glad to see you again. Still as majestic, as decadent. And of course, as loud as ever. Oh well, I'll sleep in... I'll sleep when I'm back in Turin, I guess. Where's Turin? What time did Patrick say he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram around here somewhere, so is this the guy that was dating the dog? Ah, here it is. Or is this the dog before... My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Please check in at the Grand Roma. Everything taken care of. We'll be there around noon. Love, P. <laughs> And yes, I can imagine Paramore is a dumb word. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Thrilled. Damn right. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. I'm certainly thrilled. Be still, my beating heart. I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror. Make sure I look presentable. So is this guy just very, very... Um, over-enthusiastic? Or... And also check if room service delivered the flowers I ordered. Very enthusiastic. Everything needs to be perfect. Um, room service, one of the greatest inventions of mankind. I can agree with that, but it's always expensive. And almost never worth it. Unless it's being paid for by someone else. Socks, underwear, a couple of shirts. And that Rolex Patrick gave me at my first party we met. At the first party we met. Ah, so P is Patrick. I'm sure he would like me to wear it. I guess Patrick is a better name than P. Unless humiliating and gross. Okay, so bathroom. Where is the bathroom? This very expensive glass table feels like it's missing something. Isn't that usually... No, I've got to remain PG-13. No. This reminds me of that party. Actually, I don't remember that much about it. Just that there were togas involved. Toga! Toga! Patrick loves the whole Roman Emperor aesthetic. As do many fraternities. He'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's part of the reason he lives here. Americani. Ugh. There's even a radio in the room. A radio! This place really has everything. My god! The modern wonders! I wonder how this works. Oh wait, are we going to get electrocuted? Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> oh no, I have broken the radio. It's playing static. You've got Jack at home. Oh dear, what a relief. <laughs> the poor man doesn't know how to use technology. What age is this set in then? Whiskey, gin, vermouth, amaretto, campari, of course. Yum, is that limoncello? Limoncello? Limoncelli? Something Italian? Which would make sense, given the location. The radio is at home, but he doesn't know how to use it. So he can't listen to me. Sadly for him. Uh, better not leave the room. Okay, so where's the bathroom that we were told about? Uh, oh, I see it. Little tiny little doorway. Okay. Been there, done that. Good, good, good. I always want to go before you actually meet your date. That's a B day too. Fancy. You lucky, handsome devil, you. You really hit the jackpot this time. What if he is the one? The real one? This is leading to a very... This is all red flags. Can you imagine? Having to tell mum and everything? Hey, you said mum correctly too. Okay, you know what? We'll cross that bridge. When and if we ever get to it. For now... You look just dashing, young man. Damn right. I always look dashing. I only wear a jacket. Can't get much more stylish than that. Well, well, well. Towels. I'm sure these towels cost more than what I make in a month. And why are you staying at such a posh hotel? Is this something that Patrick is also paid for? I want to know. I want to know if his... Boy, if his boyfriend is actually just a sugar daddy. 
Did not leave the room. Patrick could be here any minute. Okay, so... Now, checked ourselves out in the mirror. We know we're good. I'm so tired from my trip, I just want to take a nap. Patrick should be here soon. Maybe we can call room service and have breakfast in bed. Okay. Hmm, so what are we meant to be... We don't need to poop, but we also have checked ourselves out already. Don't think there's an actual inventory to use. So... Oh, okay. Wink. No, is that it? Okay. So we can't sleep. Can't call Patrick. Can't use the... Oh, wait. Turn the radio on again. No. Oh, bah. Salve, Patrick. So can we just sit down and wait? Let's have a drink? No. Nope. Room service delivered, but I should move them somewhere else where they stand out a bit more. Ah, okay. The table! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make them nice and pretty. Seriously, glass tables. And here's the card, just as I requested. To my one and only. I think he's trying a bit too hard. He's going to love it. Is that an alarm? Oh, okay. The door buzzer, Patrick! Okay, let's see what he thinks. Let's impress our wonderful new boyfriend. Not new boyfriend. Carlo! Carlo? Patrick, so happy to see you. Should I have used a, an Italian accent? Look at you. It's been too long. I've missed you. Me too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. Yeah, young love. So how do you like this place? Or is it young love? You mean the room or the city? Both are quite excessive. Hetero life partner, that works, yeah. The room, pretty fancy, isn't it? Very much so, especially that painting. Oh wait, no, especially that bathtub. I never checked the painting. I'll go, I'll have to go do that if we get a chance. Especially that bathtub, wink, wink, wink. Wink, wonk. You know what I'm saying? Especially that bathtub over there in the bathroom. Yes, as that place that a bathtub should probably be. I can assure you, you've never seen anything like it. I'll take your word for it. Oh, he's not taking the bait. Have you seen... There's a radio and everything. Did you try to find some music? I did, but I broke it by turning it on. Oh, it didn't cross my mind, but feel free to if you want. Don't mind if I do. Put on some Motley Crew. There, isn't that nice? Yes, I too love staticky radio. We should really make the most of this amazingly equipped bar I see over here. If only in solidarity with my fellow Americans suffering under the grip of the Volstead Act. What's the Volstead Act? Americans, what is the Volstead Act? Tell me. Are you serious? It's not even noon yet. Um, uh, no, I get the feeling. He's not all that interested in me, so maybe we can ply him a little bit? Oh sure, coming right up. That's my Bambino. Let's do this. What's Bam... Is that Baby? It's weird. Anyway, so one for me, one for Patrick. One for me, one for Patrick. Glug, 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 glug. Volstead Act was the official name of the bill that passed Prohibition. Oh, okay. Salute. Cheers. So is it, this must take place in the 1920s then? Or the 1940s? I forget when Prohibition was. This music's very romantic, if not very scratchy. And also very painful to listen to. Oh, by the way, these flowers are for you. Please, please return my affection. I'm begging you. I'm so lonely. Oh, they are absolutely lovely. And look, they come with a card. Please be impressed by my wooing. To my one and only. Oh, uh, that... Charlie, Carlo, I need to tell you something. Oh, no! Oh, no, it's all for nothing. Want to drink? I'm fine here, thanks. Look, Carlo. We can't keep doing this. Oh, no, you've got a wife. Are you serious? You're dumping me? Patrick! After all I've done for you, I got you flowers! And I've made you a drink! 
How dare you? How dare you? And you asked me to come all the way here for this? This lavish hotel? I wanted to tell you in person. I could have simply never gotten in touch again, but I wanted to see you. Would you rather I just walked away? I suppose not, but still. You're right, you never would have done that. Doesn't make me any less unhappy. You took care too much to just walk away. Of course I care, but that doesn't mean that... that you have real feelings for me. Oh. I have never suggested such a thing. Wow. Wow. What about your telegram? What about it? Carlo, you're seeing what you want to see. You're really going to make me show it to you? I want to show- I want to see it now. Are you serious? All right then, wait here. Wait there, you son of a bitch. And I'll show you exactly what you said to me. Also, I'll check out that, um, painting now. You certainly can't buy good taste with money. Oh, okay. Uh, where was the telegram? Where was the tel- Secretary, yeah? Here it is. Thrilled to see me, he said. Undisputable proof that he loves me. My shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me. That's what he was. Oh. Is shooting star a euphemism? A flash in the pan? Something that's here and gone? Someone only to be seen once and never again? A romantic brief moment. Your shooting star, of course. Oh, crap. Shit. Is that how you justify it to yourself? I'm just some crazy adventure? Well, I guess I was right. Or did the deuce put the fear of God in you? The deuce. Or is it the duchy? It's not that. And it has nothing to do with you. I'm, it's just wrong. I'm sorry, Carlo. <laughs> I'll just keep stirring the pot. Oh, you surely can't be serious now. That's what I said. Just say you're afraid of being deported and cut the crap. Yeah. Look, I don't expect you to understand. I have... I've read these journals. Carlo, there are doctors. They can help. They have this new therapy. Increasingly incredulous, yes. As soon as I found out about it, I told my wife everything. You're married? About you, me, about this whole thing. She knows it was a malaise, something beyond my control. Oh, excuses now. You're blaming your mental health problems. And see, she supports me unconditionally. We'll go through this together, discreetly. And our mar marriage will be stronger for it in the end. Carlo, you should think about it too. Apparently, there's this hospital near Turin in Colleg... Colleg... Collegino. Coleno? Carlo, they can cure you! Of what? What are they... What are they try? Oh, wait, is this gay conversion therapy? Or an anti-gay con con yeah. anti conversion therapy? Hmm... You're a coward. Nah. Uh, Patrick, no, not you. Please. <laughs> Please, Patrick, after all we've shared. After all these moments together. Sick. You really hate yourself so much. That you think a doctor can cure you of what you feel for me? It's going to lead to... Carlo, I can't feel anything for you. Is this going to lead to, like, I have a wife, I have children, I am a man. Is this going to lead to, like, breakup sex? And this is what a man does. Man. A snake is what you are. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, I think he's just afraid to come out the closet. So we'll keep being sympathetic, I think, for the moment. Patrick, I know you're scared. The future isn't looking good right now. Giving up seems like the easiest thing to do. But we don't need fixing, and you know it. I'll grill him if he... This is not who you are. 
Oh, this is such a waste of time. Why did I think it was a good idea to tell you in person? Because you loved me, you fool! Or I thought you did. I'm sorry, Carlo, but that's all I can give you. I need to go home now. You son of a bitch. Can you please call room service and order me a taxi cab? Mmm. You really have some nerve. Call one yourself. You coward. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, fine. I'll ask for one at the reception desk then. Fine. Have it your way. This is what I get for trying to make things easy on a loser like you. Oh, wow. Now you've done it. Goodbye, Carlo. Go back to Turin. It's over. Well, didn't you pay for this room? I think I'm going to get my money's worth. I'm going to eat everything in the snack bar. I'm going to drink all the drinks. Some nerve you have calling me a loser. Yeah. What else would you call someone who keeps throwing his family's money away? Someone who wants to live. Chasing who knows what or who. Seeking just one chance out between two legs. How dare you! I loved you. Calling you a loser is actually pretty forgiving. Move away, Carlo. I'm done with you. Wow. What a jerk. Well, I'm not done with you, you heartless bastard! Yeesh. Whoops. Well. That's messy. I think his head's more glass than man now. Yeah, major oops. Well, um, I guess this wasn't so much a murder mystery as a murder showing off. Well. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to say he deserved it. Because really, he didn't, but... Oh god, Patrick, oh god. <laughs> Just a murder, murder, yeah. Um, well. Um, so how do we take her of a dead body? I'll just stagger around a bit in uh, complete shock. Aha! The telephone. Always good. It's good to answer the telephone in the middle of a panic. My rack is... My rack is what? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. Hydrochloric acid. Oh! That makes more sense. Okay, so we know what to do with hydrochloric acid, don't we? But first, let's just go pee. Or bleach. Bleach will work, maybe. Does it? I thought bleach didn't... Bleach wouldn't be good enough to dissolve. Plus, bleach is an alkali, not an acid. What am I going to do now? So much blood. So much blood. <laughs> So much blood! So much blood! You're dead. And it was me. It was me! Oh god, Patrick, I'm sorry. You just wanted a second chance with your wife and kids. But I can make it up to you. You'll see. Just you wait, Patrick. What am I going to do? How am I going to make it up to him? He's dead. Also, we need to get rid of the body. Just stagger around and envelope. Bleach should make it physically difficult to identify, which was enough to work back then, probably. Oh, okay. It's an invitation to some kind of masked ball. RSVP not required. So this is supposed to be a a mask. Ooh, it slithers. Ew, gross. Oh. I'm starting to wonder if this game's going to be shorter than I realised. I thought there was like... And the next thing you know, I'm here in this train with a drink in my hand. 
Hello again, skelly lady. And now, this all feels unreal, like a strange dream. Like I shouldn't really be here. With my strange, slithery mask face. Oh dear, what a terrible experience that must have been. I'm not surprised you're feeling disoriented. You should have just got the hydrochloric acid. Not at all. What is it, darling? Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please, go ahead. Thank you so much. Um, I've just realised that Streamlabs is still set to emote only and it's not fixing itself, so... I've been looking all over the, the island, all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. I'm quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. And what just... What does your husband look like, Mrs... West Winterbourne. Valerie Winterbourne. My husband is Henry Winterbourne. Surely you must know him from the papers. I've never heard of you, but... Not that it would matter here. But I am confident if he were around, I would have recognised him already. Would you? Would you, though, in a train full of masked people? Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was... This is embarrassing, but I... I'm not quite so sure right now. It's all right, dearie. What do you remember, then? It was raining. The slow vanishing of Lady Winterbourne. Okay, so yeah, I think this whole game is going to be faster than I realised. It might be done in about an hour. Looks like a sick day. A sick rainy day. Um, I'm just going to... If I can. I don't know if I can actually tab out of this or not. Uh, I'm going to risk it. Because I want to turn off the... Uh, I want to turn off emote only chat. Because I'm not sure why it's set to emote only chat. Um, subscribers only and emote only. It's terrible. For some reason it didn't turn off. I mean, I'm hoping it's going to be character introdu introductions. I would like there to be more, because I'm very intrigued. There we go. Good morning, miss. Okay. Mirror. No! If she doesn't like looking at herself? Is that the problem? These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? No, it's still yesterday. No light. It hurts. It's a vampire. If I close my eyes, I can almost hear... Hear what? She's a little messed up. Maybe traumatized? But there used to be faces here. I mean... That's kind of what picture frames are for. How long has it been raining? What day is this? Um, back to bed, I guess. Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Okay. So she's quite confused. And not in the best state, for whatever reason. Outside? But it is yesterday. Hey! I said that. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. Wow. I was correct. It is yesterday. Told you. Um, okay. So, piece of a tomorrow. Okay. Oh, wait. Glass de My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay, but there's not much left. So, can we have some medicine? Help you feel better? Laudanum? Isn't laudanum really bad for you? Um. Not sure what else to click on. <laughs> what is today but tomorrow's yesterday? Makes you think. Yeah. I mean, personally, I'd rather live in next year, but... Or last year. Not so much yesterday. It's too soon. I want to live much further. Much further ago. Um. But... Well... 
Okay, so the picture frames don't... Well, oh, wait, there we go. I thought I'd clicked on... Shh, quiet now. Or not? Oh, God, no, I don't. I want it to be 2009 again. No, 2007. 2006. Let's make it 2006. I want it to be 2006 again. Okay, so what are we trying to do with you, lady? It's you. Wait. Ball of yarn! Oh, it's Lord Sox's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime. Where is he? Maybe he got caught outside in the rain? It's hard to see anything from here. Let's have a look in the other window. Come on, Mr. Sox. Come out. He's a good kitty, I'm guessing. I can't see anything. Maybe the servants know something? You'd have to leave the room. You ready to leave the room? Yes. Progress. It is probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up just in case. Let's get the draped cloth. No? Okay. So back to the wardrobe. Although these clothes are for tomorrow. Say, breaking the rule here. What was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. Um. Okay, so we don't want to. Okay. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Will you... There's... <laughs> it's a very linear path I'm taking here. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? Spoiler alert, everyone is dead. What was that? Ooh, the invitation. Is this where I dropped dead from laudanum poisoning? A letter from Lord Cavendish? What could he possibly want? <laughs> Sorry for your loss. My most sincere condolences. Mr. Sox is dead. That's who this letter is to is about. Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? I just live alone in this house. It's been deserted for dozens of years. I have aged without realising it because I refuse to look in a mirror. It feels like it's inside my head. A shadow. Just a shadow. Okay. Is there any premonitions? Any theories as to... I should check inside the maid's chambers first. Are we all going to side with the idea that she's uh, long since been left alone? Or is she dead? I'm just living in a haunted mansion. I can't remember. Some fading memory. Something not quite here. Serve the shadows? The housemaid should be here. In her chambers. You think she's just gone batshit? Maybe. What is this? I hear voices. They're talking about you. She's not alone. I think there's a man in here with her. It's your husband. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. Turns out, though, she's a necrophiliac. I need to find a way to listen to what they're saying. Um, Porcelain vase. I just know. Ornate glass. Yay. I knew it. The old children trick. Or the literally jumps and bones door itself is probably too thick but maybe maybe the glass to the door trick not since the conservatory incident what about her laudanum consumption i knew it wasn't good for you has it decreased at all no but she mustn't have much left i haven't refilled her decanter in several days and i've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs what is laudanum? What does it do? And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the lock strong. Just what we like, a good strong lock. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. I don't know which is which. Which is the maid and which is the... 
More letters are arriving. And rumours abound. <gasps> the display cabinet in the parlour. Very heavy opium syrup. How dare they keep the key from me? You can't, you can barely get out of bed. I should burst into that room right now. But I will deal with that tomorrow because I'm very sleepy and need another nap. I think I will have my medicine. <laughs> Are we talking about the now as in you're going to go back to your room and realise that your glasses, your decanter is empty? And that you have to go back down here to look for the maid to fill it all? Are you actually going to go downstairs? Because now I'm curious. What I wanted to drink. Okay. Let's see. It's also very slow. I thought there might be a way to speed this up, but... It's got very, very, um... Fixed camera angles. I mean, obviously, but... I still have some medicine in my room. I can go downstairs tomorrow. Yeah, see? But do you have enough in there for tonight? Are you just gonna forget again? And then go storm, in, storm back to the maid's room and then hear the voices again? Okay, here we go. Let's have some of that sweet, sweet opium syrup. Delicious opium. Oh wow, it's Disneyland! So this is the effect of opium. Everything's pretty now. Why have I never tried opium? There is cat hair all over the carpet, as per usual. <gasps> it's so warm outside. I don't need anything else. Oh, I look just fine. It's not dark yet. I don't need to turn on a lamp. Henry protested at first about including Lord Socks in the portrait. Oh, he is a cat. But if I am a Winterborn, then so is he. Picture frames. Who's on the frames? Is it maid and husband? Some family pictures. These three over here are my favourites. <laughs> Maman man and I in Paris, February 23rd. My man and I in Vienna, April 1926. My man and I in New York, October 1925. I remember I found some great records for my gramophone on these trips. But the book said back like it was dialogue of her just saying back out loud as she begins the trip. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. He <laughs> Just a random outcry of back! Just falling over. He should be here any time now. Who? Lord Socks. If I catch him when he was arriving, I can usually see his automobile from here. What a lovely day. We play the harp. Play some beautiful music. It's actually outside of the opium fantasy. <laughs> yeah, outside the opium fantasy, it's just clang, 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 bang, bang. And she can't hear it, but next door, her husband's banging on the wall trying to get her to shut up. Go back to sleep, you drugged up wench. Okay, I guess I could... The most wistful of melody, melodies, Monsieur Satie was a true master of melancholy. Satie or Satier? But right now I am in the mood for something more cheerful. Let's just play the Benny Hill theme. The Benny Hill theme's cheerful enough, isn't it? I that would sound good in the harp, actually. Painting. Mum and Dad, oh, how they hated posing for this. They think painting is out and that there is nothing as exciting as photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it's so lovely to have them here on the walls and old, like old-fashioned aristocrats. Hmm. Dear Grandpapa, Beau Voices. He believed in me when nobody else did. Believed in you for doing what? My little cousins from Amiens. I miss them so much. I guess I was meant to be doing a French accent all along for her. Mamma mia. A classic King Hua Shing. I don't know. 
and one of the few pieces the family can still afford to keep. Ah, the family is also crashing out in terms of value, I guess. Look. The catalogue from the auction in which the vase was acquired. The beautiful Murano glass is a souvenir from our honeymoon in Venice. Venice. Just a personal trifle next to the family's treasures, of course. But very dear to me, nonetheless. Pretty fancy, too. It's not dark yet. I hope Henry won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. Because of his business trips, we barely get any time together lately. If Henry makes it back in time, we should have a picnic in the garden. So I wonder if this is... So is this all in her head and really it's all just one big fantasy? Is that what the opium has done? It's just pushed her into a realm of fantasy. So she is actually wandering, wandering down the same hallways, but now bathed in sunlight. If she were to step outside, she'd just end up soaked through. Grandma Winterbourne. I knew her in the last, 20, last years of her life. A remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterbourne. I never met him. And from what I know, all for the better. Ooh. I reckon he was old-fashioned when it came to crossing class boundaries. Ah. Eat the rich. To Paul. Whoa, I... I feel dizzy. Why was I going downstairs anyway? I'm not sure now. Why was I... Was I not going back to my room? No. You were going downstairs. Where am... Oh. Ah. So even when she's on opium, she can't go anywhere. My own personal pantheon. These figures have always been a huge inspiration to me. I just could not bring myself to leave them behind in France when I moved here. The plaque says... Goddess of memory and words. Memesine? Memesine? Memesine. Yeah. Uh, plaque says Eos, God goddess of the dawn. Yeah, it's a Final Fantasy thing as well. At least that's where I know that name from. Apollo! The guy who pulled the chariot across the sky and brought the sun up, yeah? Apollo, god of music and the sun. Yay! I only know that because of Hercules. Pronounce that cluster like new. Or I'm supposed to, or I did. I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. Oh, here we go. Mnemonic. Oh, I see. I see. That makes more sense. Near sign. So it was near sign. I'm a master of language. Draped cloth. The barest whisper of a melody. Okay, so we're going back to bed now, I guess. Because your cat's still drowning. I guess we'll go to bed. It's been a long day of walking around in a drug-fueled haze. By day, I mean a couple of hours. Maybe. More like minutes. And then she overdosed. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Maybe she's still alive, just for now. Aha! Letter two. have you got for me in letter? Please be the spooky train envelope. Lord Windsor now, what is this? Deepest condolences, again. But there's more. I am aware of the dire situation of the Winterbourne family. Rumours about that precious Ming vase, vase, one of the few pieces yet not yet sold, surviving on your fortune alone. I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. This is outrageous! What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she has the key to the cabinet. Ah, that's what it's about. The drugs are more important, we know. 
It didn't last very long, did it? The drug fueled haze. I thought opium was meant to last a little while. Did Lord Socks do this? No, you did it. Like f five minutes ago, before you went dancing through the house in the sun. I can't hear anything. It seems like the room is empty. Or maybe they are hiding from me? Whispering in the dark. How dare they? Have you been... Have, is that what the whispers in the dark thing came from? Has she been... Is that just like a mantra she has now? This lady going slowly insane due to loneliness. I believe it's implied that she has a severe habit, likely accrued a tolerance. Yeah, it's possible. You're probably right, given the amount that she's... Uh, I can't stop thinking about that outrageous letter. The family's Ming vase. Vase. You'll see what I think about the Ming vase. Okay, so yeah, we get to smash a vase. Actually, that sounds like the best thing we've had to do yet with her. Just spitefully smashing something super expensive. Hey. Vandalism! Is this the vase he was talking about? Yes. Here we go. I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as valuable as a whole vase. I don't think it will, but hey. Yay. Wutan demurred. I forget what that means. I think it's something like shit idiot. Wutan. Wutan. I know it's a bad word either way. Or fucking shit. I've got a French friend who says it a lot. Putan more than nerd, but yeah. Anyway, don't cut your feet. I'll just walk around on them anyway. Uh, vase fragments. Nope. Okay, she doesn't want to. F in sheet. Ah. Well, that makes sense. Traces. Traces, all of them. My medicine is all I need. Okay, so now we've smashed the vase unnecessarily. What good would... Ah, what good would it do anyway? There's no one here. For the glass. So, now that we've smashed a vase, come out of our drug fueled haze, um, put on a jacket, and damned the um, damned the maid and whoever was hiding in there with her. I wanted to bet her husband's dead. So that's the only thing I can think of. Come on. Come on, don't be afraid of the stairs. There we go. Man, nobody has lived in here a while, have they? Dead flowers. There used to be flowers here. Bookshelf. Books and more books. Here's one and another. Prophet's Paradise. A treaty on clocks. I do love clocks. One of my favourite things are clocks. The unbearable jargon of the clockmaker. Oh, okay. Never know. I think it's quite interesting. For a Prophet's Paradise. Poetry. What good has it ever done? Aside from bring joy to many. Without fear of wind and vertigo. I don't recognise the title. Me either. When, where did this come from? When did this come from? My medicine should be in the cabinet. Aha. Eyes drawn straight to it. There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. I don't have the key and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing open if I need to. Um, with what? Armchair? Rest, maybe later. Okay. Um, what have we got? Fireplace. Uh, stool. No. Draped cloth. Let's see what's under the draped cloth. Can we use it? Can we smash something? A faint tickling. No, I guess not. Okay. Oh, wait. The other, no. Ah. Maybe I'll just avoid the draped cloth and go straight. I could sink it. Sink. I could sink in it. Oh, okay. Right. Grab from the fireplace some sort of brick or a on the ash. This is not the fire I seek. We're not trying to burn anything. I'm trying to smash it. Oh wait! The books, of course. Take the least important book, the one that nobody knows the origin of. I don't recognise this title, no. Goes poetry. And treaty on clocks, no, okay, never mind. We don't need the first floor again, do we? Go back up to... Do we need to go back up to the first floor? Can we just... Painting? Shreds. Something that used to be a painting. I bet she broke that. I bet, I bet she is the one that... Ah. Damn it, I thought the vase might... Uh, fireplace pokers at last. 
That's what I was looking for. Tiny clickable thing. Now let's throw them. Let's throw in all the pokers. Just the entire thing all at once. This will work. Melee weapon, yes. I'm gonna throw it. Then it won't be a melee weapon. Yay! I was hoping to throw it like a spear, but never mind. Here we go! We're back in Happy Town. <laughs> Actually, that sounds pretty good. Diablo, but with a laudanum fueled drug haze. Although I guess that is technically what uh, the cow level is. Henry's favourite spot, after his study of course. Perfect spot to read a book by the fire. The smell of fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtlest pleasures. Glass inside glass, to be admired from afar and not touched. A bit late for that. What a sad fate. Now let's see what you have to say about the books. I'm sure you'll recognise some of them now. With your brain less addled for whatever reason. Pretty sure it should work the other way. There are some interesting books here. Far afield a woman cried, I have killed him, I loved. And from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. What is this? What is this book doing here? Ooh, is that, are you living through these books? The books like repressed memories now. Treating clocks, one of those awfully boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Hey, speak for yourself. Striking as they might look, decorative clocks, such as those embedded within busts or statues, lack precision and reliability. I wonder if that goes for big tower clocks as well. Such module models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. Wow. My oven does the same thing. This is, of course, unacceptable. Of course. Well, of course, unacceptable. Yeah dare those clocks not be correct at all times without fear of wind and vertigo and so you see this novel so tightly interwoven with sensations suddenly riven by bottomless chasms as if the claim to portray vital fullness revealed the void beneath hmm I'm not familiar with this author Italian sounds very modern yeah sounds like something I've got in my collection yay bookworm I've got an achievement um so let's admire thee. I've never been too fond of this painting. Oh, okay. It's so solemn and joyless. Henry's taste can be so old fashioned sometimes. I was actually trying to feign interest in that, but never mind. Um, it is a table clock in the shape of a bust. <laughs> but it needs winding and the key is missing. Why bother? It's going to be at least seven minutes behind. Um. Da -da -da -da. Record player. My gramophone! Yay! <laughs> Yo, titty clock! What up? I have so many memories attached to all these records. Especially the ones I brought back from my trips abroad with my man. Which one shall I play first? Also, Smooth, you better be working. Like, hard. Pay less attention to this. Three Old Viennese Dancers by Fritz Kessler. Harigi Okara by Giuseppe Verdi. My New York by Mal Hallett and his orchestra. Yeah, get to it. Stop, stop doing this. I'll be fine, really. Thank you, though. Scandalous. A jive. A real 1920s feel. I like it. Just need to add in some Frank Sinatra and it'd be a real bop. Um, Three Old Viennese Dances by Fritz Kessler. Bit of German. Songs you can waltz to. 
more or less. A bit morbid though. It wouldn't be in my top 10. Now see, this is a bob. Unfortunately, it's something you have to enjoy in small bursts, kind of like Buddy Holly. Nice memory try memory times though, but this is not the way it happened. My trips with my mom, I need to remember. Hmm. Cat purring on your lap, the sound of logs crackling. No better way to spend those rainy English autumn afternoons. I don't know, I can think of many better ways to treat an English, rainy English summer, uh, autumn afternoon, but... Especially now we're in it. Hmm. Back to the first floor, to the bedroom. Unless there's other stuff to do down here, but I think I've clicked everything. But now at least I've got the laudanum. Favorite song, photographs, blah blah blah. Oh, I really feel listening to the records I brought back from these trips. I could do a little walk down memory lane right now. I just... I... What? I did. That's what I... Oh wait, have I got to play them in order? Is that it? Yeah, it did get kind of blown over. I should have actually paid attention to what the uh, order was in. This one's still my favourite, though. I do love me some swing. Although I prefer electro swing. Anyway. Now, okay. So, I need to go and I need to actually get the order that she says it in instead of skipping over it, which I did once there. And then I listen to the records in order of whatever it was. So... My photographs, Paris, Vienna, New York. Okay, Paris, Vienna, New York. Paris, Vienna, New York. So. Aha, there we go. I think. Right, and then Vienna. And then we do the, whatever you would do with the swing. I don't know what swing dance would be. I guess it would be swing dancing, wouldn't it? Duh. And then we swing dance. Yay! And now that's um, little clips. That's all we needed. That is the way. What? Um. That is the way it happened, though. Play them in reverse. No, because I played them in reverse before as well, so that wouldn't work. Come on. Unless we've got to sit there and go through the entire song. And I'm really hoping not. 
trips with Man, I need to remember. What are we trying to remember specifically? Huh. So... Paris, February 1923. Vienna, 1926. 1925. Ah. Ah, I see. It was just in the wrong order. It is very pretty, although she's drugged up. So this is all a fantasy. Also, hey, hey, Druid. I thought you were sleeping. Okay, so Paris, then New York. Why'd you have to wake up? New York. Swing time. Once again. Yeah. I need this person's full album. And then, Innie's dances. We don't need to listen to this for very long. It's not very interesting anyway. What is this? On Sang! It's so grating! What on earth was that? Oh. I was expecting her to be more of a... More of a finale to that, personally. Strange music has made me ill at ease. I think I would rather go back to my room. Okay, fine with me. When's the, uh, drug gonna wear off? Is all the laudanum gonna... come out of her system? I, I'm sure I hit bedroom, but maybe I didn't. <laughs> Gotta keep walking very slowly. There we go. Okay. Now into the bedroom. Right. So now what, lady? Are you gonna go take a nap? My harp! Who did this? You did. The shadow, it's... It's wrong! There we go. Looks like Lord Nim's wear it off. Worn off. Now the ball of yarn. He didn't sleep here last night either. Now you're so tired you have to go to bed? Slipping through my fingers, it's gone. But maybe I can dream and dream of tomorrow. There is always music tomorrow. Not for you. Let's go back to bed. Now you don't have any laudanum because you drank it all. And here's another letter. Who are these condolences from? And why? I still think it's because her husband's dead. Really dead. Really, really dead. Really dead. I need my medicine. Yeah, we get it. How useless. These hands were never meant for this. She just collapsed on her bed. I do that sometimes. His hands were never meant for this. These talentless hands. I'll show you Rome, my man. I promise. Where are you? Where are you? I don't need any medicine. I'm good. I'm healthy. Really dead. I dreamt it was dark, and now it is dark now, too. Empty. Empty. So empty. Yeah, it's back in the bad trip arc. It's back in the old times. Back in the time before Laudanum. Or rather, back before the time when she didn't have Laudanum no more. Double negatives. Let's go down to the parlour. <laughs> Okay, so dead flowers. There used to be flowers, draped cloth. It all whispers, all quiet now. Um, and the display cabinet. 
where you had the, where you broke and got the laudanum out. Where have they hidden it now? Oh, it's still here. Let's have another sap, another sip, another sippy. There we go. The sippy helped. Oh, what did you drop? What did you drop? Where did this come from? What is that? It's a letter from Ford Lord Fitzroy. He is a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. Oh no, now it's going to infect her laudanum state. What? So daring as to propose an arrangement for our mutual benefit. I dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real? Did someone put opium tincture in my morning tea? <laughs> it was you drinking opium with opium. This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid, provided this isn't some lark of hers. She should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. Yeah. The fly up ah, the fire plache. No. To the foyer. It doesn't look like the maid is here, just an odd little ghost version of myself. But I heard voices. Uh, let's look at the clock. It seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at three o'clock. Maybe I can use that key to wind it? Where's the key? Umbrella stand? Uh, let's check the umbrellas then. My umbrella is here, but Henry is, is missing. My long dead husband. He must have taken it with him. My long dead husband, who is most certainly not actually dead. What key are we talking about? Where's the key? This paper? What do the papers say today? Oh, it's the issue of Paris Soir that featured our wedding. Everybody say made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Beauvoises. Beauvoises jewellery empire. Mademoiselle Valerie Beauvoises it's to Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chetham Green. Yes, to the grave. Everything goes with him. In a move seen as uncharacteristic for the socialite whose friendships with avant-garde artists such as Germain Dulac or Fernand Leger are well known. Germain Dulac or Fernand Leger. She declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the loud rumours regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterbourne family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love. And that moving to the calm of the countryside will be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. Oh, she fancy. Yeah, she is. Very fancy girl. Very fancy lady. Very fancy drug lady. Takes only the fanciest of laudanums. Um, but I still don't know what key we're talking about here. It's chilly here. Yeah, what, what key were we talking about? Because I don't have a key. The one in the fire platchy? A cat purring on your lap, the sound of logs crackling, the faces, the voices in the fire. No. Okay, let's... It's conservatory. No. Main door. Okay, not dressed to go outside. What? Oh! Clock key. It was on the clock. I guess that makes sense. Where else would you keep a clock key? But on the clock. Let's see if this works. Ugh! This is too tall. I can't reach the winding hole. The winding hole, not the winding hole. Three o'clock it is then. Never mind. She gave up pretty quickly. Um. Can we not? No. Nope. I guess it shall have to stay this way. Well, that was useless. But hey, let's go and wind the other clock in here. The one that was almost seven minutes late anyway. The one that is going to be bad because it's built into a bust, which apparently Henry's dad said was garbage. According to his books, the winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Perfect, I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? Uh, oh. Um. Three o'clock. I think. 
Hmm, I don't know what I was expecting. Oh, does he mean three o'clock? Is it the wrong three o'clock? Is it the other three o'clock? It's the fifteen o'clock. Thirteen, thirteen. I don't know what 1313 is. But it didn't work. Um. Huh. So what are we meant to be? It said 3 o'clock. It didn't mean 30 o'clock, did it? Let's see. Nah, can't put a 30 in there. Okay. Um. What about midnight? Nope. I thought midnight would work, but never mind. Should we just try all the times? Actually, no, I don't think trying all the times is a good idea, but... Those have to be a divided by six thing. Um... <laughs> yeah, good job. You tried, smooth. Also, get back to work. Stop wasting time. Okay, so that definitely is at three. Which we knew, so that doesn't really help. Right, is there something in the paper that might help us? No, I guess not. Okay. Wait a second. Did it say seven minutes fast or seven minutes slow? And this is a long shot. This is just me probably overthinking it, but... Average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. Average delay. Okay. So... 1453. I got it! Hey! Mega Brain Panda! It's working again! Is that the grandfather clock? Is it working now too? Yay! I'm actually more pleased with myself than I should be, really. It wasn't a difficult puzzle, but I'm still glad I got it. Ha! Thank goodness my, <laughs> my willingness to read books on clocks and the <laughs> clock mechanisms. The clock is working again, just like... I... I'm not sure now. When was that? I was here, browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in. The clock chimed. He ran into the conservatory. What had the little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now, about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what is going on. Well, you've fired all the maids. And you also fired your husband, I guess, or killed him or something. Oh, so this is what he did. He broke a statue. So many times I have sat on the bench and just let my wind wander. My wind. Wine. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm so very lucky to have my own my very own Sancta Sancta Sanctorum. What's a sanct Sancta Sanctorum? Just a special place of my own. Flowerpot. The azaleas look lovely today. I've got some azaleas. I think. Camellias are so delicate with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. I've got some bleeding heart plants, but hey, spooky. Little ghost face. Did I see something move there? Whispers in the dark? No, not quite here, but there is a rustling of leaves somewhere. 
starts rustling in the bushes. Tea table and leaves. Must be my imagination. Bushes. Check out the bush. My goodness, so many bugs. This needs a trim. Ew. I kind of wish my mind hadn't immediately gone there when I said bush and now that. The foliage is so thick, a tiger could hide here. <laughs> I don't need trimming. I'm perfect. Okay, so little ghost her. Still running around for some reason. But why? Okay, so is this going to be a clicking place to place thing? So... She's crying on the bench. So then maybe foliage is so thick, she goes running over to there after licking her lips or something. It looked like she was licking her lips. The water looks so serene. Why is she? Is that where the cat's gone? Has the cat fallen in there? I thought that was smashed. I didn't realize it was a statue. I thought because of the because of the perspective. I thought for some reason it had, like, landed on the thing and smashed itself. Anyway. So, yes. Follies are so thick. Run away. Run away. Come on. Then we check the bushes. But it doesn't look like anything happens. So then... Tea table. Just checking behind the table. And crying again? Oh, wait. There we go. Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea is something I never did very often back in Paris. Okay. Then... Baby Ivy will soon start climbing the wall. Smoking again. I see something move there. quite here, but rustling of leaves. Well, we know there was a rustling of leaves because we've already checked, but... We already know. Okay, so... So if this has something to do with the cat, then has she... Has the cat drowned? Is that the whole point? Or did she drown the cat? Because that's not the... That's not the... Body language of a happy person. I wouldn't say. Flower pots. Is this a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. Huh. I think for now that's all I have to click in here, but... Every room seems to have a puzzle of its own, so it must it must have to do something. I'm just not sure what. Yeah, that's not a happy person. That's not a happy ghost or after image or before image. So she's just searching for something. to go back out into the foyer and then I'm guessing I can't go outside now. Hmm. Um. What about another book? Because the first book helped. So is there another book that also helps with something else? Prophet's Paradise. Far afield a woman cried, I have killed him I loved. And from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. 
Okay. So it's definitely something to do with those heart flowers. I wonder if they're the same flowers that I have in my garden. They basically have great big bolt, uh, great big, um, not petals, but like buds that look like big heavy hanging flowers. I think they're called bleeding hearts or something. I am super thirsty tonight for some reason. Okay. Yeah, so we know it's something to do with these flowers, but in what way? How are they relevant here? Something about pouring blood. Pouring blood on it. Where would we get blood to pour on it? Do we have to go back up to our room and get the... back up to the... Maybe we have to go back up to the... Um, to the bedroom. They are very pretty, yeah. They're some of my favourite flowers. I'm hoping to get a um, either a Sakura or a Tibetan cherry tree for my garden as well. But I don't know how, how well that's going to turn out because we can't find... The only trees we have anywhere... Oh, I guess not. The only trees that are sold around here seem to be um, aces and bamboo. And bamboo, we know, isn't really a tree. Oh, and oaks. But I don't really want an oak growing in my garden. Huh. Okay, so the answer has to be self-contained within... within the conservatory. But why? What happened... What happened at that point in time? Three o'clock. That made this happen. Because that's the only reference we have is this. Pouring blood on these white flowers. Maybe I will soon start climbing the wall. Got ivy as well. Shrubbery. Bench. Sit here and just let my mind wander. What's she. Okay, so we just know she's crying, and that's it. It's the only real info we have. Shrubbery, yes, we know foliage is so thick, and then it runs. She runs. I'm assuming going to look for the dead cat, or something about a cat, or, or, eh. Gardener needs to trim the bushes. What looks so serene, she's crying over the, over that. But why? Then we go up here. She'll come on the tea table and something will be said about the tea. Flower pots and flower pot. Flower pot. Zelia's look lovely. Flower pot. This tiny one. No, it's the same one. Flower pots. Nope. Okay, it's just all one thing. Damn it. Best spot to eat. Uh, best spot in the house. It's the tears. Maybe it's on the floor? No. God damn it. I just can't. I don't know. So we've got plenty of plenty of stuff to click on, but unfortunately, whenever we do, we get one of those stupid long little running scenes, which are very, very annoying. But that's the only thing I can think of. Camellias are so delicate with their snow white petals and golden hearts. And all that all that book said was the golden the snow white petals and golden hearts and pouring blood on them, as far as I saw anyway. Unless I'm missing a much more vital clue, which is perfectly within my reasoning, within my history. But tritium clocks, right? I'm gonna have a look at this again, though. It was a tightly interwoven with sensations suddenly riven by bottomless caverns, as the claim to portray vital fullness revealed a void beneath. No, it's not not relevant. I don't think. So, Prophet's Paradise. 
once again. Far afield, a woman cried, I have killed him, I loved, and from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. What is this book doing here? I don't have any blood to spill. But I don't think I have any jars to take either. The display cabinet won't give me anything. Book is ticking. Flowers, blah, blah, blah. Armchair? No. Perfect spot to read. Fireplace pokers. Fire, the poker's missing because you threw it. The fireplace. I didn't see any jars outside either, so in the conservatory. I was kind of hoping that the hardest thing to to complete would be the uh, clock puzzle, but I guess not. No, we don't want you to do that. So once again, putting together the puzzle, she cries on the bench. She stands here smoking over the all of the, the plants or something. She falls on her knees here and cries into the fountain or yells or screams or something. She runs from the shrubbery over to here which doesn't actually give anything as far as I remember. There's no little animation connected to this. I'll go double check anyway. Yeah. No. Okay. can't just tip, tip a plant out and bleed into it or something, I guess. Yeah. And I can't do anything else with any of the other flowers or pots either. So she's crying over that. And then it looks like she smokes and then drops something into the... rustling of leaves somewhere. rustling of leaves. So over there, maybe. Rustling of leaves. So she runs over there. Over there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Something here stirring the leaves and suddenly a blur, a chase, a, the clinking sound of porcelain. Then. No. Power pots? A clinking sound of Blur a chase, clinking porcelain, where? Clinking porcelain. Aha. Yes. Aha! Okay. Making progress now. Go. Maybe that shouldn't have taken me as long as it did, but... Here, a scream of pain. Red streaks, then knuckles white like snow, hands so cold, so cold. Okay, and then white flowers, nope, then bench, nope, pond, no. Okay, so, oh, God's sake. Don't tell me I have to start over again now. Oh, I swear to God. This has to be done in order. Oh, for God's sake. You do, do you? You have to do this in an exact order. You can't just... You can't just let it happen. Over there. Okay, then back to the tea table. Then the pond, maybe, to clean up the red streaks. The sound of porcelain. Tea table and chairs. Right, we'll try the pond next. 
because maybe she wanted to wash off her hands. Hands so cold, so cold. Or maybe she'd want to warm them up. But how would she warm them up in a pond? Well, I guess it was right still, but that's something at least. That's a step forward. Oh dear, no. Why wash your hands in a pond if they're cold? The water was no longer screaming. Then where is the sadness coming from? The bench! Okay. Again, that took me longer than it should have, but it was... Eh. It is stronger here. Now the laudanum will wear off. What is this sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place was always so soothing to me. But these sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. And the water, I could have sworn I felt... Wait, what is that? It seems there is something at the bottom of the pond. Is it the cat? But I am not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. Oh, of course you do. Uh, Ivy. Maybe? No. Umbrella May? No. Plants? Nothing's moving. Shrubbery, rustling has ceased. Uh, can't click that. Table, teeth and weight. White flowers? Fell so. No. Guess we can't drop any of that stuff, so maybe the umbrella? Grab the umbrella. This should work. Yay! Okay. I'm not sure how you grab... Oh, wait. You're using the hook. You're using the hook end of the umbrella. Right. Yeah, right. I get it. You're not just trying to spear something in there like a fish. That makes more sense. Okay. Let's see what we get. What we win today. What's the prize? Oh. My lord, my dear lord. Oh, I knew it, but still. What happened to you? Who did this? Did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? Help, I must find help. Well, we knew Lord Sox was going to be pretty dead, but... You were right, Smooth. There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Nope, just you crying. Over what? Is maybe someone's death? Oh, maybe this was during World War II or something? So maybe Lord Henry whatever. I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? But this is not the Paris Soir. Well, technically, you said he better not be dead. But it's the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of the Shetham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. Wow. That's not quite as heroic as I was expecting it to be. An automobile accident back in 1920-something. As the car in which he was riding rolled up towards the driveway of the Winterbourne Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. Oh no, that's actually... That's sad. The chauffeur drove the, gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, no! Henry? Dead? This is absurd! She killed the cat! He's here. He's he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home. But he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course. How silly of me. That's it. He must be in his study. Uh, he'll know what to do. He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. Oh, here we go. It's going to be a, <laughs> it's going to be a, like a Norman Bates thing. Uh-oh. It's all turning back. It's all changing. Ah, quickly, quickly. I need another sip. Ah, please, please don't take me yet. I need to speak with Henry. No. Don't take my, don't take my sanity. Oh, well, I am. Um, oh, no. Here we go. Henry, are you there? Henry. Henry? It's just the skeleton. Oh, no. What have they done to you? 
They've stuffed him. Is that what that is? Yeah. Why did they hide you from me? Oh, that poor woman. I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while. But I'm here now. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left. And I had such dreams. Such terrible dreams. But I found you now. And I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. I just need one more sip of my medicine. And then I'll come back for you and take you home. We are going to Paris, my love. Hurry. And just staggering back back downstairs. She looks a little faint. Does she look faint to anyone else? Yeah, she's faint. She's transparent. Is she has she been dead this whole time? I mean there's clearly never any maid here, right? Oh wait, I only just Oh no, the game's taken over now. Oh, there we go. Cold watery grave. A swirling, yawning void. A roaring, primal scream. Let's, go. Let's have a look at the pictures that are now off the walls. Mum, Dad, I am barely here anymore. You would have understood. You would have forgiven. Emians seem so far away now, flickering like a roll of film. No more sleep. No more dreaming. Huh. I can make it stop now. I guess it is. I guess this is it. Sorry. I'm sorry for everything. You inbred bastard. Oh, that's her grandfather. I assume. That's his big painting. Wow. And what's this? Envelope. Another one of those awful letters. Oh, this is going to be from the masquerade, isn't it? Thanks, Smooth. Drive safe. Take care. See you later. The mask ball. Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask, then. It's so beautiful. She just faded away. Oh, there she is. Never mind. Oh, and the sun came out. Yay! Now she can be happy at peace. In the sun. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. But he must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? Interesting. I've been asking myself the same question. I'm sorry, and you are? Apologies, my name is Jordan Samuels. I am a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have brought, surely brought a coat with me, yet there seems to be no cloakroom anywhere. I have attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, they do not seem to be bothered by it. I cannot explain it, but I feel like I, we, should not be here. What do you mean by that, Doctor? Where else do you reckon we should be? I am not sure you would believe me even if I told you, ma'am. Oh, don't you worry about that, dear. If you only knew how much these old eyes have seen. I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Please, sir, I th think we all wish to hear what you have to say. Oh, I for one most so definitely do. Very well. I guess I should start at the beginning, then. I had been working late into the night. There we go. The Nameless Ritual. Ooh! Sci uh, medicine time. And through this incision here, we can observe that the pancreas shows spines of inflammation. This tells us that the patient likely suffered from Dr. Samuels. Um, Sister Donoma. 
I don't, well, I mean alcoholism. Who doesn't? Yeah. Sorry. Right. I'm going to say Sister Denoma. I don't know what that is, but... Well, this surely indicates that... Excuse me, Dr. Hayward? Yes, Mr. Lowell? Why are you talking to the janitor? Ouch. Buddy. Well, have you know, I'm quite the medical professional. Dr. Samuels, what you were saying? Sister Donima. Yes, from first glance, we can infer that... He doesn't look like a doctor to me. Well, <laughs> more like a hoodlum. Well, you look like a jerk. Keep an eye on the scalpels, Dr. Hayward. We don't want him to stick us up. Yeah, he could rob us blind, disappear in the shadows. Who are these kids? <laughs> Need to be disciplined. I bet he's... I'll bet he's stealing material from the infirmary. Yes, to sell it to whoever, whatever criminals the elements he is in cahoots with. I think all of you need to shut up. Check his pockets, Dr. Hayward. Right, check your face. Some supplies have, in fact, gone missing lately. See, I knew it. Let's search him. Somebody hold him. Uh-oh. The nightmares are getting worse. With every day of fasting, I felt my will slipping further and further. But today marks the 33rd day. Tonight, I can complete the ritual. I must carry out the final preparations. There is no time to lose. Those buffoons. Soon they will know what I am really capable of. Worshipping Satan in here. Copper bowl green from corrosion. An iron bowl covered in red rust. A lead bowl. A bowl of black lead. I thought it was a lead bowl, not a bowl full of lead. If I perform the ritual correctly, the guardian should manifest himself in the mirror. If I face him with courage, he shall grant me power beyond all imagining. But if there is fear in my heart, well, I have nothing to lose anyway. Okay. So it's not necessarily the devil, but it is co -cons uh, consorting with something of an otherworldly, possibly black magic -y nature. The stars are right. Mars, Venus, and Saturn are aligned tonight. After months of enduring their mockery with fists and teeth clenched, after months of study and discipline, the moment has arrived. The moment to reach out to forces beyond this world. Oh, we're going to get some, like, Elder God. Cthulhu type stuff here. Always the same fighting and screaming. Wound Man. The Wound Man, an ancient medical illustration showing different types of injuries and diseases. This one has particularly interesting notes. The sun rules the intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Mercury is hand, the hand in darkness. Mars wields the sword. Doesn't seem very scientific. Jupiter hungers for power cast Saturn's genitals into the sea. Hey, he needs those. I will need this later. I'm sure you will. This is the most complete treaty I have found on the esoteric use of herbs and plants. Oh, he's a natural doctor. This is the passage I need. The sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury smells of fresh hyssop. The visions of wormwood rule over Mars. Venus is the sweetness of the rose. Sage is the wisdom of Jupiter. The hemlock is Saturn's blessing. I think I have it memorized now. I don't. So are we playing fiery summons? Are we playing medicine man? Me, new Zidvka's forbidden volume something. This is the passage I need. The sun burns in golden flames. A violet mantle shall devour Mercury. Cast ye the symbol of Venus onto flames of emerald, and engulf in crimson all that belongs to Mars. A raging azure inferno for Jupiter, a black grave for Saturn. I think I have it memorised. Okay. So obviously you've got the, the green, red, and the black. 
I've almost forgot Mr. William's morphine is in my pocket. I need to be drugged up as well for this. I should take it to him before I get started. My career at the hospital is already on shaky ground. The last thing I need is to be caught taking supplies home. But his tuberculosis is terminal, and this is the only thing that can grant him some relief at this point. And what's bed? Oh, I am afraid of sleeping. Okay. A thame! My ritual dagger. I will need it later. Never thought I'd see in a thame. A ritual dagger. Ah. Sometimes I hear them. I sometimes hear them talking of terrible places in my sleep. I try to write down as much as I can when I wake up, but there is so much I'm missing. A chapel in the wilderness, fire among the moaning trees. A theatre, a dripping blade, the hateful whispers of the dead. A sunken library, where memories are drowned and voices from the past echo in the darkness. What does it all mean? Okay, well let's go give our uh, morphine to Mr. Tuberculosis. Johnson's are always fighting. One of these days it will end in tragedy. I tried intervening once, but they always almost beat me up. Some things never really change, even here. Everyone's such a shaky gait in this game, too. Mr. Tuberculosis, Mr. Akib. Good evening, Mrs. Williams. Dr. Samuels, I'm so glad to see you. I was worried you wouldn't come. I apologise. I got held up at the hospital today. How is he doing? Not good. Not good, Doctor. He can't barely breathe no more. That's a double negative, lady. And that cough. It ain't never been this bad before. It's also a double negative. It's two double negatives. Do you think he's... I'm so sorry, Mrs. Williams. I wish I could do something. Despite all the medical advances of our era, consumption is a battle we've yet to win. But this will help with the pain, at least. Consumption? Thank you, Dr. Samuels. Bless your soul. Thank you. No need to thank me, Mrs. Williams. It is my sacred duty. Go to him now. He needs you. Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. Consumption's what they used to call diabetes, isn't it? Good night, Dr. Samuels. Bless you. Bumpkin. Hey, pair. How you doing? I'm an angel of mercy, according to the achievement. Hold up, what? Hold up, why? Why? How? Ba -ba -ba. What am I holding up for? Excuse me while I take a drink. All right. <laughs> How did Panda turn to Osha? I don't know. Maybe your phone has a crush on whoever Osha is. And the hey up here. How are you doing, cat? I far more important to matters to attend to. Okay, so back into my uh, room prison to continue my strange experiments. In order to try and summon some sort of demon. But where do all my chemicals come from? Herb jars, here we go. All right, I can begin the final preparations now. Hi, you Vorp. How are you doing? Sorry, Vorpal. I shouldn't call you Vorp. Yeah, that's good. How are you doing? How you been? You okay? Uh, crap. I should have taken notes of this. Um, oh, crap. Heliotrope. I need to write this down because I'm not going to remember. Um, can I write this down quickly? Right, 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 right. Ba, 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 ba. Notes, 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 notes. Unless someone else wants to note this down for me instead. Excuse me. Ah. Well, good. That works for me, but I'll call you Vorpal. <laughs> I just thought, hey, Vorp sounded. But then after saying it, I was like, no, that doesn't sound good. Vorp just sounds, it sounds like uh, Morp and Mindy or whatever. It's terrible. Um, anyway, so the books say, planetary, let's memorize. The sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury smells of fresh hyssop. 
Visions of wormwood rule over Mars. Venus is the sweetness of the rose. Sage is the wisdom of Jupiter. The hemlock is Saturn's blessing. I can't, I can't write it down whilst it's all so... Ah. I need to write it down and also... Got to write it down because otherwise I won't be able to keep hold of it. So, what was it? So, it is. Come on, hurry up. Sun, heliotrope, helio, mercury, isop, wormwood, Mars, uh, Venus, Rose. Sage, Jupiter, and Hemlock, Saturn. Okay. Right, so that's going to be important for the first part. And then... Sorry, I know it's not exciting to watch me take notes, but... Fire summons, memorize the passage. Wait, you can just go for the same thing. Sun, Golden, Flame, Violet... Mercury, Venus, Emerald, Crimson, Mars. Well, that's obvious, but Azure, Inferno, Jupiter, and what was the last one? Grave, Black Grave, Saturn. Azure. Flame, Jupiter. Okay. Right, that was important. I had to get that down, because otherwise I'm not going to remember any of it. Super necessary. Um, and also, oh crap, and the Wound Man. The Wound Man is another thing, so... Oh, right, you require that later. Fine. Correct herbs in the bowl. So... Right, so Sun is Heliop. But let's worry about right, Heliotrope. And the Golden Flame, which would be... What would the Golden Flame be? The Iron Bowl? Because it's orange? Yay! Okay, so yeah, that works. Um, Violet is Mercury. What would Violet be? And Mercury, Mercury and Hyssop go in violet, so maybe that is the black one. Um, Hyssop, black. We'll say Hyssop. Hyssop goes in the lead bowl because it might turn violet, who knows. Or not. Um, wormwood, Mars, which is red. Crimson, so that will go in the iron bolt. No, already something in there. Crap! So. Okay, so we don't want that, I guess, in the. Wait, no. What if. What if it had nothing to do with any of that? What if they, they are three different things, but you've got to do the second step first, which is the all the bowls? That would make more sense, wouldn't it? So I'll put the row. I'll just grab the rows and put it in there anyway, because it's going to be wrong. Actually, no. Um, Golden Flame. Venus Emerald. Venus was... Well, yeah, Venus was Rose, so Venus Emerald. So we'll do that, just to see. Because I know this is going to be wrong anyway, because I'm pretty sure it should have been the the flowers and not the... Or the, the corresponding flames to the corresponding whatever, but... Yeah, didn't think so. Okay. So, first... Violet, Mercury. So we've not got Violet, so we'll use Crimson Mars, which is the Wormwood, right? Again, I know this isn't super interesting, but this is a puzzle, and I'm not great with puzzles, so... Wormwood was Mars, so yeah. 
and Mars went in crimson, which to me looks like the red rust on the iron bowl. And then Venus was emerald, which was the green of the copper. Venus was the rose. So rose petals, Venus. Saturn was hemlock. Well, I hope I'm doing good. I <laughs> can't imagine it being interesting to watch, but hey, needs must. So thank you. Um, right. So last one is the is Saturn, which is hemlock, and that goes in the black grave, which is the bowl of lead in the lead bowl. Or the the lead in the lead bowl. Oh well, it all matches up perfectly then. Yes, got it, nailed it. The elements are aligned. Now I must mark my skin with blood. Whose blood? One small cut in each spot shall suffice. Oh, okay. So we're copying the wounded man, I guess. The sun rules the intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Mercury is the hand in darkness. Mars wields the sword. Jupiter hungers for power and casts Saturn's genitals into the sea. Oh, dude. Um, so we'll get the athame. It is time. So we'll get the athame, and well, <laughs> here we go. All right, so forehead. No, my hand is hesitating. This doesn't feel right. I must start again. Okay, sun rules the intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Mercury is the hand in darkness. Mars wields the sword. This bit's a bit more complicated. Jupiter hungers for power, casts Saturn's genitals into the sea. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, I'm gonna try groin first. <laughs> oh wait, what? He didn't. He didn't just do it, did he? Heart, hand, and groin. Okay. Hey, he did it! He did! He took the... He took the... Oh, wow. Ow. That poor guy. Um. So, left hand, I think? No, wait, which is... He's holding it in his... He's holding it in his left hand, right? Yeah, he's holding it in his left hand. So, right hand? Ow. Okay, and then... Last one is the chest. Yes, this is it. Good job. It is time to enter the circle. Here we go. Time to summon whatever it is this thing summons. See it in the mirror. We hope. Oh no. Spooky time. Show no fear. What? What is this? This sounds pretty fearful, dude. Don't fear. You said so yourself. If you fear, then you fail. So be it then. Am I meant to cross over? Or Dentis, Fortuna, Uvat. I probably didn't pronounce that correctly, but what else is new? Aha! I'm in the other world of the demons. Where am I? Is this really the other side? And that, that must be the Guardian. At long last, I must remain calm and focused. I have prepared myself for this moment. I am worthy. And now you said you shouldn't fear, and you were fearing pretty hard there for a second. Nobody has slept here in a very long time. My god. <laughs> no, really? This place made mostly out of fungus? <laughs> you might call this a mushroom. <laughs> oh, great keeper of the gates, guardian of the threshold, I beseech thee, hear my plea. I have opened the way. I face thee without fear. Yeah. So soil bitter blood void price. Okay, so we've got to play the blood price. Putrid rotten price. Price taken scorn. Price. Failed trapped flesh. Unworthy. Unworthy. Unworth. Why? Um. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek 
revenge. I don't know. I'd probably, I mean, if it were really me, I would probably say healing, because I would like to heal people. But I'm wondering if he wants revenge because his dreams were pretty sucky. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek revenge. Teach me the lessons of wrath that I may humiliate my enemies. Scorn, blood, void, empty, spill, pricks. Knowledge for you. Smart. Literally. Adversary. Blish. Sacre. Blood. Ifis. Blade. Blood. D I... I do not understand. According to my books, he should speak clearly and distinctly and offer counsel and guidance. Whatever this creature is, it is not the Guardian. What am I meant to do now? Who art thou then? Speak thy name, creature. Blech. Once ever, Jordan trapped. Where's Doctor together? Gone. Was in both. Samuels, we. Trap. Punish. Both ever. Punish. Flesh. Madness. I am Jordan Samuels. Me. Vile creature. Trickster. Ha. 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 Lou. Ha. Lou. Ha. Ha. Ja. Ha. 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 Le. Um. Why is the Guardian not here? I carried out his every step of the ritual to summon his physical form. What else do I need to do? Sacra. All burn, erase, press. Trump, mind, impute, purpose, flesh, soul. Not enough. Only, only one fail. Or a... This makes no sense. None of the texts I read mentioned something like this. Where am I? What is this place? Present, other, same crossroad, yesterday, together. All burn time abilities fuzzy murder both i can barely make sense of this gibberish a crossroad is that what this place is some sort of limbo i'm wasting my time i will not get any answers here i will need to try and make sense of all this we go back through oh no our gateway um okay well how about we it's as if reality itself ended here. Well, I guess we'll go to bed then, because what else are we going to do? Nobody has slept here in a very long time. Window. The light is sickening. Uh, what else is there to click on? There's always something to click on, right? Lamp. It's a passage in the book. Illum illumine the darkness ahead of thee. Take not a single step forward until thou art positive that thou hast sufficient oil in thine own lamp. The lamps of the guides whom thou hast hitherto followed will now no longer be available to thee. Yet the light seems to be keeping him alive. Taking it away might kill him. But it is my craving for revenge that has brought me here. That fire is mine. It belongs to me. Nothing shall stand in my way, not even myself. Blech. Gross. I shall not waver. I shall not fail. Well, that was gross. A warning, but I shall not fail. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so now it's opening the way for me. Hartman BO2, the Johnsons. Something terrible happened here. There's a lot of squishing going on. I don't know if that's the floor or what. Blah! Gross. Okay. Mrs. Williams? Is that you? Are you all right? Wait, you monster! You killed him! You monster! Wow. Angel of Grief. I cannot let this get to me. It is a test. Just a test. I did what I had to. She tried to tentacle me. Does everything end up with tentacles? Dear God. Dear Lord. Is that alive? It's an ulcer. The stairs. They no longer go down to the street. Got to the street, but downwards. Well, get going, mate. Time to step downwards. Travelling all the way down to heck.
stuff drifting upwards. That's normal. I cannot see anything ahead. It looks like a dead end. Or is it? But this has to be the way. There is nowhere else to go. <sighs> Green water is always a good sign. Everyone loves some good standing water. Neck deep. Everyone loves sewer levels too. Yeah, I saw the thing about the Twitch leaks. I recognize those bookshelves. I've seen this place before, in dreams. I was lost in a maze of corridors trying to find something, but I cannot remember what or why. Yeah, I saw the Twitch things and, uh, yeah, I went and, uh, changed passwords and, and, uh, I even disabled and re-enabled two-factor authentication to try and generate some new, you know, a new authenticator code thing so that I wouldn't have to, uh, I don't know. I figure if everything's been taken then it's worth also generating a new passcode because I also changed my stream key so now I need to go and settle my stream stuff as well. Aside from this, this seems to work okay. Now, I did get held up trying to start the stream but oh well. Um, bookshelf. Most of these books are mouldy and rotten but some of them are in surprisingly good condition. You didn't get caught by it at all did you? I hope you changed everything as well. Classic romantic novels by Shakespeare, Steindahl, Dumas, Calvino? I've never heard of him. Hey, Calvino, that's the guy at the start. Or, well, maybe. Might be that guy, but who knows. Good. Always best to be safe, innit? It seems to be relatively recent. I recognise some of Miss, Aust Miss Austen's works. Oh wow, Pride and Prejudice must be in there. A bestseller of the day. In it, bruh. very wet. I'm not a big fan of places that are too wet. Unless it's a swimming pool. This place feels old beyond words and gross beyond words. Squishy. God! Another creature? It is not acknowledging me. Does it not know I am here or does it simply not care? Shall I try making my presence known? Here! My name is Jordan Samuels. I've walked these aisles in dreams. Uh, it's raising its gross head. Art thou the keeper of, its, of this place? It's pretty big. It is paying me no heed. I don't think it is listening to me. There seems to be something else. Is it... Is it... Looks like it's holding its ear... Its hand to its ear. Or if that is a hand. Whatever might pass for that thing's hand and for its ear. I can barely make these out. Most of them don't even have titles. They look like diaries and manuscripts. I hope I'm not going to have to play like librarian for this guy. Whispers, they seem to be coming from this corridor. I want them having to decimalize this entire library. I'm hearing the hearing the whispers but I don't know what to make of them bookshelf whispers are coming from this book the spooky book the death note that's personally a dream come true for you or decimalizing a book a whole library like this that furiously scribbled threat slipped into my mailbox one night always the stares the murmurs uttered under their breath oh the jeers and the scoffs if they felt courageous enough well good for you I couldn't do something like that. I can feel my blood boil just looking at it. I wouldn't have the patience. Is this what it wants to remind me why I am doing this? To strengthen my resolve? This must mean something. I have to bring it back to that creature. Okay. Let's see what Mr. Uh, Green Squishy Librarian wants with it. Not much different to a number of librarians I've met, really. Just minus glasses. Wants 
this book. What is it writing? A memory of Jordan Samuels, born April 27th, 1897. A memory of Dr. Samuels, field medic. A memory of Jordan, loving betrothed. A memory of that darky down... A, mem a memory of that darky down the street. Oh, jeez. A memory of Mr. Samuels, music aficionado. That is me. That is my life. <sighs> Going to, uh... Almost stepped into, um... H.P. Lovecraft territory there. Let's give him the book. Enjoy it. Yep. I'll just swallow it all up. What am I doing here? Was I not? I was holding... Was I carrying something? Scroll, yeah. Or perhaps it was that dream. It looked so much like this place. And what? Was this creature there too? What does it want? Should I try talking to it? Are you going to make me get another book? It's paying me no attention whatsoever. It looks like it's trying to hear something else. Is there another book now? Oh, here we go. Another book. It's like children's books, bedtime stories, fables, fairy tales. So I'll find the book of the crying kids. Growing louder. How could there possibly be a child in this place? My children's folk stories, I'll recognize some of these titles. Tales of Anansi. The Adventures of Br'er Rabbit. Briar Rabbit. All the pretty little horses. I like the stories of Briar Rabbit. Or Br'er Rabbit. However it was pronounced. Um shelf? child rearing manuals. Most of these seem to be quite modern. Ring louder. Okay. Must be... There we go. Coming from inside this photo album. Right. This... That is my family. Grandparents, father, aunts, mother. So this baby she is holding must be... Me. But I have never seen this photograph before. What is it doing here? I should bring this book back to that creature. Maybe it was guiding me to it for some reason. Is he just... He's just making a whole memoir of his own life leading up to his death. Helping this thing make a memoir of his death, even. It wants the book. This is really cool so far. I think there's one more story at the end of it. What am I doing here? Was I not... I was holding... Was I carrying something? Or perhaps that was, it was that dream. It looked so much like this place. One more. He's paying me no attention, trying to hear something else. Probably in this direction this time, yeah? So there are a couple of other little corridors I could go down. Maybe. Oh, here we go. A little bit of music. I'm going to make some tomes and Baroque and classical music and some titles in Arabic. Here we go. There's no gramophone. The music is coming from inside this book. The sheet music for Fritz Kreisler's Liebs... Liebslied. Liebslied? Today I received the acceptance letter from the Chicago College of Medicine and Surgery. I borrowed a tuxedo, spent too much money on fancy concert, drank too much wine afterwards. It did seem back then I was destined for great things. But why this? Why now? Why am I even here to start with? Maybe if I take this book back to that creature, I'll get some answers. For the third time in a row, and I doubt you'll get any more answers this time, it's going to be vague and mysterious all the way down. I'm just going to have to listen to gramophone music. I don't know, maybe. All this kind of music sounds the same to me, to be honest. There was some pretty good music in the last story. There was some swing music. Good old New York swing. Okay, eat it. There we go. Blom, 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 blom. Tasty. What am I doing here? Was I not... I was holding, carrying something? Okay. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Where else in here have I not been? Do I have to go all the way back to the start? Is there... Is there one that I didn't go down? Bloody hell. Fetch quests. Fun. Aha, here we go. Okay, this was... Who is that? It sounds more and more familiar the closer I get. 
a lost love. It's coming from this book. There is a letter inside. This envelope is handwriting. I don't even need to open it. I am sorry, Enos. You deserved so much more. But New York felt like the place I needed to be after the war. I was so wrong. I wish I could undo all the pain I caused you. Did the creature want me to find this? Is it trying to tell me something? I guess there is only one way to know. Right, let's hope that's the end of this quest line. Because I would really like to get some answers and just, you know, move on. But I have been intrigued all the way through the story so far. These have been really good. And this is a free game. It's like um, Doki Doki Literature Club. It's a free game, but they've got a supporters pack kind of thing. You can, do you can buy if you want to, and it gives you, like, a soundtrack and stuff. And it's really good. It's a really good little fun horror game thing. Mystery game. Ooh. So I really enjoy it. really have been enjoying it. The first story was tragic. And uh, the second one was quite sad. What am I doing here? Was I not? Yeah, we know. I swear to God, are you kidding me? Get on with it. What fucking now? What do I need to find now? As I was saying, I am enjoying it. Just this, this bit's getting on my nerves just a little bit. Because this isn't a puzzle, it's just trekking up and down long corridors, looking around in a dark place for books. And I'm not even sure if, uh, I'm not even sure which directions I'm meant to go in. But I guess it's not this way, because I think I already went that way for the music book. Yeah, the um, the first story was very short, and I was worried that was all that was going to be the length of all the books, of all the stories. But they, it, it wasn't there, yeah. but it wasn't. They've all been progressively longer as time has gone on. Although I don't know how long this one will be in the end compared to the second one, but it's definitely longer than I was expecting it to be. And yeah, the first one was short but very intriguing, very sweet. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, considering it's free, it's bloody amazing. No, not only not only for the story itself, but the just the the pixel art and stuff like that. It's like a really good old um a really good old not telltale. LucasArts type thing. Well, you know, like um King's Quest and and Sam and Max, but I can think of a couple of them like this, like Monkey Island and things like that, you know? It's just a really, really good old-fashioned point-and-click RPG. Point-and-click, um, point-and-click adventure. Really pretty as well. Well, to a degree, you know, as pretty as green slime can be. Here in a train, Sounds as if a battle was taking place right here, but I see nothing except books. You're gonna, you're gonna be in there, aren't you? These are all about the Great War. Diaries, maps, field reports. Saint Mihiel. I was never there, but I know some men who were. News Aragon. I was so close to some of these places. The Great War, as in World War I or World War II. All these seem to be either novelizations of famous battles or biographies of military leaders. Um, there we go. It's coming from this book here. A map. Seychelles. Seychelles, France. September 1918. They called us the Harlem Hellfighters. We took that village while bombs rained on us like fire from the sky. But we took so many casualties that day. We were taken off the line the very next day. So many of us never went back home. For better or for worse, the things I saw there made me what I am today. This cannot be a coincidence. The creature clearly wanted me to find it. I should bring it back and see what it wants. Okay. Well, let's hope this is the last one. It would be nice to just be, you know, to move on a little bit instead of wandering around dark, slimy corridors, which is less fun. 
Here we go, big guy. It wants the book. Of course it does. It's greedy. It's greedy for pages. Hey! Hey, buddy. Okay. Ah! Well. Oh, no. He's actually been dead all this time. It's a Jacob's Ladder situation. Come on, get up. Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember anything. Who... Who am I? Crater and a dead soldier's remains. Did a battle place take place here? Dear Lord, what happened here? So is this 19... Oh, it's say 1917 or 1918. Whoa. Where have I seen this banner before? It looks so familiar. Bloody sheets and what seem to be corpses. This must be an improvised field hospital. There is some dirty rainwater pooled up in the basin. Hello, Father. I'm not going to call you Daddy. Dr. Samuels, welcome to the Chapel Perilous. I've been waiting for you. Do I know you? Apologies, I seem to have... What did you call me? It's all right. I know what you've done. It's all gone now. Your name. But yes, you do know me. You did a good thing for me. Once. Did I? Yes, and never for a moment did you hesitate. You took the fire of divinity into your hands and acted with the certainty of a thunderbolt. Life and death laid bare before you. Such a sight to behold. That sounds arrogant of me. It was not your arrogance, but your kindness. You suffered with me, and my pain was yours. But this soul of yours, this kindness, you need it for another purpose. This fire must be wielded again. The Guardian? Ah, you still remember. Yes, the Guardian. Like the texts say. I must become a perfect and glorious being, or fall prey to corruption. And should this occur, I would drag thee also down with me into a dark and corrupt world. And you do also remember what brought you here, don't you? Yes, I came here seeking revenge. Yes, and yet, it is also said that my threshold is fashioned out of all the dread of the strength needed to take full responsibility for all thy thoughts and actions. Years, many years ago, you did not take full responsibility for your thoughts and actions, this has been a burden. Today, you must free yourself of this burden of bygone lives. Look, look around you. I'm seeing a lot of sheets and a corpse. Oh, there we go. You abandoned these men. You left them to suffer and die in great pain and agony. You were young then. You didn't know better. Now is the time to rectify that. Free them, Dr. Samuels, like you freed me. And I will hear your confession once your dues are paid. Oh, okay, so I've got to kill them, yeah? Here's my assumption, anyway. Um, where's a gun? Looks like a makeshift infirmary. I am somehow familiar with these kits. Uh, so, where's the gun? I mean, I'm assuming it's a gun. I'm not going to have to actually save them, am I? So, let's see. How you doing, buddy? Well, if it isn't Dr. Jordan Samuels himself. So I've been told, but I have no memory of my name or what I did to get here. Do I know you? Oh, I know you. Yes, Doctor, I remember you. I can't ever forget you. I've been here so many times. I've done this so many times. Over and over, waiting here, hoping that you will bring me a bullet so I can blow my fucking brains out. And you just walk away every time. You walk away saying you will help me. You never look back, you bastard. I'm sorry. I am so very sorry. I cannot remember any of these things. You're always sorry, Doctor. Have you talked to Shane this time? Quite the nervous fella, ain't he? He remembers everything over and over. He just wants to sleep, the poor guy. But he can't forget you either. And Jim? Seen him yet? Doesn't talk much, that one only moans sometimes when he's unlucky enough to drift back to the surface. I'm sure he remembers too. I'm sure in that blackness of his there's name echoing again and again. 
on his legs, I guess. I mean, the elephant in the room here. The elephant without legs. His legs. He must have stepped on a landmine. He is waving a gun around. Please, soldier, hand me over that gun. I promise I will help you. Wouldn't you like for me to do that? Again? Not a chance, doctor. Get me a bullet and I'll take care of it myself. What is your name? Name's Luke, Doc. Lucky Luke, they used to call me. Not anymore, I guess. Ha ha ha. Oh dear. Luke, I... Say, Doc, what do you think will get me first? The gangrene or the infection? Just kidding. I already know. It has happened so many times. Always the same way. Not going to be any different now, is it? I always thought gangrene and infection were basically the same thing. Aren't they? I thought gangrene was just a type of infection. A gauze bandage is covering his eyes. Good lord, his hands. Only an explosion could have done this. He seems to be in shock. Soldier, can you hear me? My name is... I... I am a doctor. 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 A doctor. Not here. Left. He left. Not here. Oh, maybe he does mean sepsis, yeah. I mean, I thought sepsis was a type of infection as well, but I'm not medically trained, so... It's just an assumption. He has been blinded by shrapnel. His hands have been blown off almost completely, and he is delirious with fever. Without antibiotics, he will surely die in a matter of hours or days if he is unfortunate. He's holding onto a pillow, grabbing it with all his strength. The pain must be unbearable. What is your name, soldier? Shh, shh, sleep. If I could just sleep. The doctor said he'd make me sleep. He said he would. He would come back and help me sleep, but he left. He left. Shh. Shh. Okay, so that must be, they say, Sean. And then, I guess, last guy. Whatever's happened to him. Maybe he's asleep. Half his jaw has been shot off. He is alive somehow, but barely conscious. He is also bleeding from his stomach. But this is not a gunshot. He must have tripped when he was shot and fallen on a piece of metal or a fence. I cannot even begin to imagine his agony. He's wearing an ammo belt. Oh. Maybe there is some ammunition left in it. But I will not take it and leave him like this. I need to find a way to help him first. Well, go and grab a bloody med kit then. I am sorry. I have been told what I did even though I cannot remember. But I will not walk away this time. Although I just damn. Yeah, so there's a lot of trauma here, obviously. But I don't know how I'm supposed to help anyone. The bell tower has been blown to smithereens. This place must have sustained a terrible bombing. Okay, so maybe the other guy has a gun. Oh, or maybe not. Fine then. So if you're not going to use the medical supplies... Ah, there we go. Okay. Jar with some opium pills. Eight, maybe ten? They must have been here for a very long time. Opium tablet form is not very common anymore. If that is the case, they've probably lost a great deal of their potency. I'll need to use all of them if I want to. Why do I remember all this? Okay, so... I guess we give him the tablets. Or not. Maybe we give it to him then? I figured it made more sense to give it to that guy, but I need to find some water. Nobody can swallow this many pills on a dry throat. I need a container, okay. Um can I just use that as a container? Ba -ba -ba -ba. What if I take the pillow? What was the pillow as a container, no? Okay. Nope. Church bell, no. Wouldn't work. Okay, so... What about anything in the confessional? No recollection of any of the things he mentioned, yet somehow it rings true. The other stretcher. 
Oh, wait. Wait, she... What's that? It looks like a flask. Okay. We found a flask. Why can we not... Okay, so take the flask. You've... Come on. Wait. Why is it... Take the flask, then. Hello? Come on. You're going to tell me it looks like a flask, then take the flask. Can't make him swallow... Yeah, he won't be able to swallow the pills in this condition. He's from a, bleeding from his stomach, but this is not a gunshot. He must have tripped when he was shot and fallen through his metal fence. Can't begin to imagine his agony. I don't know where the flask... Oh, wait. It's a very... That's why. Because it's a tiny, 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 tiny thing. There we go. Yeah. I didn't realise there was an actual thing to click. But thank you for that. I thought I just... I thought it was just that. This will have to do. Okay. So I'll get you to drink the pills. Sleep now, soldier. I'm sorry for having kept you here so long. Whoa. That's one way of, uh... Farewell. I hope the pain is finally over. Yep, I'm gonna smother the other guy. He will no longer need this. Besides, although, can he really... I mean, if you don't have a jaw... It would be really easy to breathe, wouldn't it? Come on, dude. Sorry. It's time to go home, soldier. Don't. Don't struggle. Don't struggle. Let it happen. Just lean into it. It's okay. Going home. Goodbye. I can take these bullets now. Farewell, soldier. Okay. Goodbye, Jim. Okay, so now we're going to give this guy bullets and he's going to shoot us. Is my assumption. Yeah, it's pretty dark, isn't it? Come on, my buddy. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Thank you, Doctor. I never thought this day would come. Now you might want to step back a bit. Ish. I mean, good on him for not shooting me as well. I hope you found your peace at last. I honestly thought he was going to be the one to shoot us, but never mind. As a form of revenge. It is done. Now to go to confession. I am ready, Reverend. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Is there anything you wish to confess? I don't know. I I just killed three men. I should feel something. Relief, guilt, horror, pride, anything. But the only thing I feel is empty. Hollowed out. I am so tired. How long has this been going on? How long have I been here? Worry not. You've done well. How? What does that mean? It doesn't matter now. You're almost there, Doctor. There is but one more trial ahead of you. And you shall finally come face to face with the Guardian. But what is the point? I remember nothing. Not even who I was. What will I ask? What do I want? You need only remember this. You created the Guardian the first time you ever made a choice. And you've been feeding him ever since with every action every decision, every act of charity, every lustful thought, every life saved, everything you are, he is too. If your soul is corrupt, so is he. And everything you've given up, you'll need to take back from him. Only after confronting him will you be able to cross the threshold. But fear not, you will understand soon enough. Now go. Whoa. Oh, hey. There's a lot of people here in need of a doctor. 
Dr. Samuel, so glad you made it. The boys and I have been waiting for you. You must be so excited. Oh, to cross the threshold at last. You've given so much. So much. But let's not waste time, shall we? I think you know what to do by now. Oh no, no, don't bother. There is nothing left of you but flesh. We are your voice now. and You shall speak only through us. Now pay attention. I have given my mind to the waters. Repeat now, Doctor. Uh, I have. It was up there somewhere, wasn't it? I have given. Ah. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Where are we? Where are we? Given my mind uh, to the waters. There we go. Excellent. Peel back the first layer now. Gross. And listen. Listen carefully. It's just basically Simon says. I have consigned my soul to the flames. Repeat. Okay. I have signed my soul uh, to the flames. Good, good. Now, the second layer. Take that scalpel and go ahead. Go ahead, do it. Do it now. Scalpy time. Squish. Now, listen once more. I now surrender my flesh to the blade. Repeat, Doctor. Okay, I now surrender my flesh to the... Please let me get this right. I might get this one wrong. To the... Yay! I got it right. Blade. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Now the retractor. Stretch the skin. Open the yawning gate. The hungry void awaits. Didn't the body with the lamp say not to? Oh, we might have done, yeah. We made the mistake. We're now going to end up with the lamp inside us. Now listen one last time. And I offer my blood to the mirror. Okay, that time I didn't, I didn't follow that one. Um, and I, nope, didn't get it. No, no, wrong, start over. And I, nope. <laughs> oh no, don't tell me I've got a limit on this. And I offer, nope. Okay, I've not got a limit. I just need to not get it wrong. And I offer my blood to the... Mirror. Yay. Like evil Simon says of something. Yes, yes, you know what to do. You know what to do. Open the threshold. Open the path to the Guardian. Become the empty yawning void. Blech. There it goes. All the guts. Hey, still standing. Good job. Okay. I'm not sure I'd be able to do that, but hey, more power to him. Aha. And now you've come across the Guardian. Finally. The Hollow One. I was beginning to think it hadn't worked. It feels like I've been stuck here for an eternity. Very well then, let us get over this over with already. Exist no more now. Yes, yes, at last. I should not cross without that invitation. Where did I? Aha, uh -huh. so it all... I... I'm not following. Time to get out of here. I'm not following. <laughs> I don't exactly understand what... 
happened in this context. But hey, I guess we're, uh, I remember nothing after that. <gasps> well, that's quite a story. The question is, where are we now? What if this is yet another test for me, for all of us? Oh my, what an idea. Look around you, Dr. Samuels. The only thing that being is being put to the test is how many glasses of champagne one can drink. Layla, could I have a word? Uh, little old skeleton lady, please excuse me if you will. So I wonder if their faces actually turn into these masks. Say, is it getting hot here? It does feel like it. Jazzy. I really like this guy's sense of style. What are you doing mingling with the humans? Are you tricking them again into telling you their stories? You know I can't help it. And you know it's not allowed. What do you find so fascinating about them anyway? I don't know. I wonder how it feels for them, I guess. Oh, so she isn't wearing a mask. The pain, the constant struggle, dying alone and forgotten, by their own hand even. We can't mingle, and we can't allow ourselves to... Wait, what did you mean by that? By what? By their own hand, even. If that's true, they should be at the back of the train. What are they doing here? I don't know. They just told me. You heard. No, there's something else here. Don't... Don't tell me you invited them personally. Please, don't tell any... You gave them masks. You sent them invitations. You collected them. I... You can't do this. They were meant for below. You know how strict the numbers are. Are you insane? They... These ones deserved it. You should have heard what they went through. That is not your call to make. I know. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again, I swear. Oh, for the glory of... All right. All right. I won't say anything, but please don't do this ever again. They were meant for below. We're still going below, just a little less deep for them. Eligible for redemption lottery every 144,000 years even. Maybe never. It's still a better chance than what they had up there. Please, I just wanted to hear their stories. Layla, Layla. You're going to get us sent to the swamps one day. If on a winter's night, four travellers. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. Especially for, again, that game was free. That was just available to download on Steam. And there's a there's a, um, a supporter pack that you can buy, you know, to support them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I like doing silly voices. That's why I like doing my reading streams on Thursdays. Doing, uh... Lovecraft tomorrow, reading H.P. Lovecraft stories. But yeah, that was really good, and uh, I would highly recommend people playing through it themselves, because maybe I missed something, or maybe I didn't do, you know, maybe I didn't do everything, maybe I didn't click on everything. A death blow is a life blow to some who, till, had, till they died, did not alive become. Who, had they lived, had died, but when they died, vitality begun. Emily Dickinson. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for making it. It was a great game. It was really enjoyable. There were, you know, good puzzles that didn't actually stump me for too long. And um, it was a really intriguing story. I was really looking forward to seeing where that would go. Yeah, I really liked that. Huh. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, go and look it up if you can. I'm probably going to buy the supporter pack because it's only like £4 or something like that, I think. So, and for that, you know, some people would charge like more than a tenner for that. Maybe more, depending on the company. Yeah, wow. I do wonder if the, if the, oh, so the fourth, 
Because I thought there were only th three tails, but I guess the fourth traveller would have been the Skull Lady. Layla. I know, the story alone was good value. It was really good. Really intrigued. I love anthology stories. I love little anthology stories. They're just one of my favourite forms of storytelling. You know, when it's like, like Creep Show or stuff like that, when it's just all um, the Twilight Zone. When it's just an overarching story or an overarching background wrapping around a whole bunch of little stories that are just intriguing. It really was. I loved it. It was so good. Oh man, I wish there were more games like this. Ah. Oh well. Right, I'm going to quit out of this and head back to the chatting thing. So, here we go. Right then. Yeah. Once my other screen comes up, there we go. So yeah, thank you for coming and playing with me and stick around to watch because uh, that was a lot of fun for me and I really enjoyed it. And I did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did. So yeah, it was really fun to do. And uh, I was just amazed by the, by the production quality of it. You know, because there are some that had pixel art that was at least as good as, I don't know, um, I'm tr struggling to think of stuff on the spot now. Um, you know, monk, like old Monkey Island games and stuff like that. Really good. And the story was really well written and I really enjoyed it. Even if even the shortest one was really good. Um, oh, I don't know. I just would have loved to have more of that. I'd love to have a sequel to that. And, you know, I'd pay for it, obviously, <laughs> because that was good. Um, Oh. No, I mean, it didn't leave me with many questions. I thought the um, the ending of the third one... Yeah, I mean, you can go and play it yourself and enjoy it that way, can't you? And if you want to see me do it, then there's always the VOD channel you can go and check out, but it means you can go and enjoy the start of the game yourself, which is good. Because um, really, people should play this just to experience it for themselves as well. I would definitely recommend it. Um... But yeah, it was just... Oh. And the music was really good and atmospheric as well. And the characters were all intriguingly written. The only one I didn't quite understand was the ending of that last one. Of the, um... Why he... What the corruption was. And why it divided him two or something. That bit I didn't quite understand, but... That's probably just because it was more... Depthful than I'm actually able to process. But... Oh well. But yeah, so uh, that was good. And I'll probably be wrapping up here because I've only got another seven minutes until three hours have been anyway. So I'm glad that all fit into one one little stream because that was really good. And I like doing uh, little streams like this that just have one single game to play through at once. Ah. But yeah, so uh, thank you everyone for sticking around. Like I said, tomorrow is going to be the reading stream, the weekly Thursday reading slash ASMR stream. And instead of doing Red Dwarf or continuing Red Dwarf, um, we're going to be reading a couple of stories from, or I guess a lot of stories because they're all fairly short, from HP Lovecraft's collection. So, you know, we're going to see Cthulhu and uh, the Whispering Horror, Pikmin's... Um, Crap, I know the story because it's one of my favourites. Pikmin, Pikmin, the Pik, ah, Pikmin's model. It's my favourite one. Um, and maybe Dreams in the Witch House, but we'll see how many times Lovecraft uses the gamer word. And Dagon, yeah. Right. Anyway, yeah, good night, Vorpal. Thanks for coming. And uh, have a good night to anyone else still watching. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sticking with me. So, good night for now, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>